All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to uh, I Lost Count. Technically, night six of blood because last night was a two-parter. Um, last night we both finished the main campaign, the end of the fourth episode, and we started the first of the two official expansions, Cryptic Passage, which is what we are on now. We're halfway through it. Uh, we finished the steamboat last night, which was interesting. And we've arrived at the graveyard. Not sure why we took a steamboat to a graveyard. That seems like not the kind of sightseeing trip I would want to take, but that's where we are now. Hey, Zachy, thanks for the host. Uh, so, the thing about the, the notable thing about the map we are going into now, the graveyard, is it is the map that contains the secret exit. Um, I was debating whether to do that last night or do it as the first thing tonight. I figured given that it could take me any amount of time to find the secret exit and given that it was already like close to 1 a.m. or something when I stopped last time, I figured we'd keep it for this one. Uh, but I'm hoping we can finish this episode, this expansion tonight. Uh, well, it remains to be seen whether we will also start um, Postmortem which is the Plasma Pack expansion, which was developed by Monolith, whereas this one was developed by a third party. Uh, but yeah, this has been... This has been pretty neat, pretty interesting so far. I, f I feel like the maps have been, like, really interestingly designed in terms of, like, the texture work and everything. I did get kind of snagged on Map 3, which was the library one. Um, there were a couple of, well... I should probably argue that at least one of the two switches that I had a hard time finding, I should have not had a hard time finding, but... Uh, yeah. There were a couple of badly conveyed switches that kind of, like, blended in or were in places that you would never look. So, um, that held me up a bit last night. That's really the only map that I have any kind of significant, like, misgivings about. Um, but yeah, let's see what the back half of this expansion looks like. Let me get our game audio back in here. Oh, I just hit the wrong button. There we go. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, so we are on map six. There are, I believe, ten maps total in this, including the secret map. So... Oh. No, don't continue. I have to load the add-on first. Okay, that's cool that it warns you about that. We need to load Cryptic Passage. Forgot about that. So, we presumably won't need to do that for post-mortem because it's integrated into the main list of episodes, but you have to do that for the... for Cryptic Passage because it was architected like an add-on. Okay. Uh, oh, I didn't restore my timer. Wait. I have the time right there, I just didn't hit the button. Okay, cool. I was gonna say, I thought I typed that in. Alright, let's go. Uh, so let's actually start the timer. And we're off. We're in the graveyard. There's, there's a drum full of bullets right at the opening to the, the entrance to the graveyard. There's our escape boat, I guess. So I guess we don't lose all our weapons, so that's nice. Like, I don't know why that random thought occurred to me, like... You could consider this, like, a breakpoint in the episode and actually reset weapons, but this game doesn't do that anywhere, actually. That was very noisy. Is that guy dead? Okay. Uh oh. Are they in there? Come on. Oh, that was a waste of shells. Okay. <laughs> they kind of blend in. It's very dark in here. There he is. 
skull key, I guess. I need a key. That headstone took all the damage for me. <laughs> I appreciate this headstone. Good grief. What the? Jerk. Oh. He did? No, they can get up twice. They sure are giving us all the weapons, though. That's a switch. And that's a secret. I don't even particularly care about that secret. I'm not a huge fan of Akimbo, it just feels like you waste ammo with it. Well, that's actually kind of good, because I, I need to shoot them twice. that up. Another switch. Oh. Okay. I expected to go a much longer time without finding that key. tried. Okay, well, the door is here. Those spiders. I mean, I was expecting the spiders. There was a spider web there. Hmm. Wolfenstein 3D, anybody? <laughs> With the literal push wall. I'm glad his second shot didn't hit me, apparently. Now, Not sure about him. Wow, what a jerk. Okay. Well, we're doing that again. <laughs> hey, CV Maniac. Well, I've only been live for about 10 minutes. I know it is sometimes slow about that. Whoops. I can't aim that far down. 
Oh my god, spiders are impossible. There we go. Okay. That worked. And they both dropped shells. Wow. Come on. That didn't hit him somehow. There's more of them. There was a shotgunner over here, too. Yep, and he hit me. Was an interesting trap door. We need a key for that, so what's up here? Rats. Oh, that was my ejecting shells. I wasn't sure if he actually managed to throw a stick of dynamite at me. Yeah. Twitch has broken a lot of things, and they've never fixed them, and it's kind of ridiculous. Like, I can kind of relate, having been on product teams that keep getting requests for new features shoved down our throats from executives, and therefore don't have any time to actually fix what's broken, but I feel like it's a little more inexcusable in Twitch's case, I don't know. When it's like, frickin' bog standard functionality. This is very dark. Where are you going? There's a switch there. What's in there? Apparently the napalm launcher. Uh, can I get out? Thank you. Twitch likes to randomly unfollow random folks in your list if you don't watch them every single day. Oh, I do remember hearing people talking about their the number of people they're following just magically reducing. I can't say I've noticed that happen to me, although it makes me worry that there's people that I was following that I've just completely forgotten about or something. But yeah, it's it's so dumb, because like, Twitch, Twitch has made it infinitely harder to even find your list of people you follow, because it's like buried in the dashboard or something, I think, now. Uh... Where's the doggo? There he is. Okay. Where did those guys... Wait, did I just open... Yeah, they came out of here. Mara. 
Well, we got two more... Two more necessary keys all of a sudden. I came from. He didn't make any noises whatsoever. These doors are really annoying. Oh shit. Lucky that one didn't shoot, he threw dynamite and I had time to react. Because dynamite isn't hit scan. Okay, well there's a switch in there. Yeah, which I'm guessing opens that. Doors are the worst, you have to wait for them to close before you can open them again. It's not who I meant to hit. Hit it again. sure if this is meaningful or not. Apparently not. Uh, so what was the point of coming up here? Oh, there's another door. Oh, there's a med kit. Might as well take. Okay, and that's the switch. For the door. Oh shit, doggo. Before they even round the corner, they're already frickin' killing me. That's not a switch, I guess. Why can't I hit him with that? Seem to be uh, pondering whether he left the gas on. Oh, okay, that wasn't a switch. There was a switch behind it, and that's a key. Oh, 
doesn't look like there's anything on that side anyway. Okay. Uh, well, I have like no med kit left. But. Oh, here's, here's the door. Thanks. I. Yes, I totally wanted to lose 35% of my health for doing absolutely nothing besides opening a door. I just realized they have the eye on the both sides here. This looks like the you figured it out door. He's probably not dead. I don't know. I've been wondering for a while whether the shotgun is the only thing that can, like, half kill them. Doing. Okay, he's going up there. He can move back down. Is there more than one of them? Where did that sound come from? Suddenly it's very loud. Oh. Okay. I think he's dead. Oh, hey, Mike. Thanks for the host. That's not a door. Okay. I mean, it could be going better. I had a rough night last night trying to get to sleep. I did not fall asleep for a while. That's a switch in a weird place. Did that open this door? Yeah, it did. He didn't hurt me, he just caused the whole topsy turvy thing. I don't think that hit him. Oh, that did. Okay. Yeah, I hope I can get back on schedule tonight. I mean, the funny thing is, like, I use the aura ring and it tells me how much sleep I actually got, and it claims that I still got, like, seven hours or something. It also claimed my readiness rating was, like, the highest it's been in a week, and I don't believe that. Because <laughs> I definitely did not feel ready. But, hopefully that at least means the effect will be reduced, assuming that I get a normal line of sleep tonight. It's called the Aura Ring. O-U-R-A. It has sensors in it, and it connects to your phone d via Bluetooth to synchronize data. That zombie was standing on my head, don't worry about it. I mainly use it because I'm curious what kind of sleep I'm getting. It's- honestly, it's, it's a pretty expensive thing to use just for the sake of curiosity. But uh, one of my co-workers had one and talked about it, so I got one a while ago. Hmm, where is this going? Oh, son of a bitch. I got really lucky that that guy did not shoot me. Well, there goes the rest of the med kit. Gonna connect back to where I was. Yes. Ah! 
God damn it. I keep... My timing is totally off with these guys tonight. I keep wasting a bunch of shotgun ammo on them. I like how that ends up having the effect of you stab them and they are suddenly on fire. Okay, we got some life essence. I guess I'll save. Oh, jeez. How many of them are there? Uh, I think one of them just drowned. Except not, because enemies in this game have infinite... ...oxygen, for some reason. I should probably take a look in this hole. Oh shit. Uh... Okay, good, I'm not drowning. I am almost dead, but I'm not drowning. Is there even any point to coming out here? I mean... Sends you back in a loop. I don't think there's any point to that. Okay. I'm just not gonna bother then. I feel like there's gotta be a secret or something down there. Because otherwise, what's the point? It's, it's kind of a raw deal. Yeah. <laughs> it just leaves you out here again, which is where I just ended up. So wait, I got the fire key. Where did I need that? <laughs> Have I seen the fire door? So we just got this. This is what led us over here, and then we got ambushed down here. It had to be outside of here, then. We haven't been up there yet, have we? Okay, there it is. I was trying to remember because I thought there were two key doors here, and I forgot what the second one was. How? Okay then. I love when Napalm doesn't hit where I want it to. Well, I was fortunate that he missed. Okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Pretty sure it got both of them. No, he's still alive because he's a spider, so of course he is. Oh, jeez. Please, not with the projectile vomiting. And of course there's another one. Oh, come on. I don't know what is with the auto-aim sometimes. Sometimes it does you a favor, and sometimes it absolutely does not. Die. I some 
somehow didn't die. Where are you, dude? You're right over there. myself a little bit and wasted a ton of ammo. Oh, for crying out loud. I greatly object to the hit scanners in this stage. Well. Oh my god, can I hit with anything? My aim is absolute shit to me. Totally gonna die. Nope, this is the exit, which I don't want to take because somewhere in here there is a secret exit. That is a very, very large area that I can't get to outside the exit. Okay. Well, I probably want to redo that anyway because I took a lot of damage and didn't do that very well. Um, I feel like I haven't really had any hints at all about, like, where the secret exit would be in this map. I don't know what that is. As to whether that's leading to another part of the map that I can't see right now, or whether it's nothing, or what. Alright, well anyway, I should sh oh god, I didn't save at all in there. Well, that didn't work very well. I didn't open that. saving because I'm pretty sure there were other guys in here and possibly also a doggo. That's what I wanted to do last time. That definitely didn't happen. Okay. Yeah, those guys totally didn't react. That works. Oh, 
Okay, so here's the exit. I'm gonna drop a save here. But we've got some backtracking to do. How many, did I find any secrets in this? I found one. Okay, we gotta go back and look for more secrets. Also, I'm pretty sure all the enemies I didn't kill are fish. Uh, oh, well that's something. Is that the secret exit? I think that's the secret exit. I think I just found it. Okay. <laughs> that didn't take very long. <laughs> Turn around, jump down a fireplace, secret exit. Alright. Let's see. Boggy Creek. Let me save. And yeah, this is M10. We've never had a double-digit map number before. Also, I like how we have the, uh... Our, our overseer, our, uh, boat captain here. Do I die if I jump out? No. It literally has a sign that says Boggy Creek on it. There's a bunch of stuff if I go backwards. Well, this map feels very Hexen. Hexen's second hub. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna... Oh. I'm gonna load from here because that's... Let's see what's forwards first. So, which way does this guy go? Because there's also stuff back here. Oh boy. Like, I wonder if this actually stops somewhere. Have we ever actually had... ...an object that, like, plots a course? Also, I can't help but notice that this boat has been drifting this entire time. Okay, it stops here. But like, so sure, there's ways to go there, but there's also all of this. And that. And that middle part. So, yeah. What? Wait. But we're gonna do that again. Where did I, I look up from my map and he's just gone? I want to see what actually happened. <laughs> Also, I can't- I couldn't help but notice that the whole thing started doing the wiggle tron here. Okay. I'm just gonna stand here and wait. Oh, he does actually go off. So he makes the rounds. But I mean, if all of this is just, like, knee-deep anyway... Okay, so he does circle back around to this part. Now, there was something off to the side. I think. Hello? Yeah, there's something there. He doesn't want me to get in there, though. Okay, uh, so that's interesting. And there he is again, he's still going around. So, okay, does this require a key or anything? 
No. What the? Where did you come from? Like that other land shark just came from out of nowhere. And so did you. What a way to actually help that time. Skull switch there. There's a spider cave. And there's another land shark. <laughs> Can I drop in there? Uh, I managed to for a split second, but I don't think I can really drop in there. Where did you guys come from? Like, just all of a sudden, are they actually crawling out of the water? I don't know. Or are they just randomly spawning? Oh, this guy's here now. Okay. Bird noises. Alright, is this the part in the middle that connects? Yeah. Good, I needed those shotgun shells. Now these, yep. This is slightly reminiscent of one of the maps in the main campaign that I can't remember. I don't remember where exactly it was. Hey. A med kit and a guy who's gonna make me need one. Great. Wow, he's just got his own personal hollowed out hollowed out tree. leads to its own little place. This map almost gives you, like, Left 4 Dead vibes or something. I expect to get Shark ambushed again. That didn't hit him. Maybe it did. That's a lot of them. Materializing out of nowhere. Okay. Well, I think that's all there is in there. I do need to keep in mind, I found a spider key, and I am looking for a skull key.
really feel like there could be a key in here. I kind of want to check it one more time. Oh, hey, look. The spider key door. I don't trust this. I fucking knew it. That's exactly what I expected. Oh boy. Oh, this is dark. Don't- don't lock me in here, you lock me in here, you jerk. the other key, and there's one of those. I freaking knew it. I don't like that noise. Wow, you got freaking fire miles on that one. I can't see a switch, so I'm just going to press every wall. Uh, that's a switch. Oh my god! Nope, nope, jump over him. There we go. go back in. There was health right there. It's fine. <laughs> well, gee, I'm glad I went back in there and second-guessed myself on I don't think I've found everything in here. Because otherwise I would have been very lost for a while. Oh, that's not good. Is it just those two? Okay, so the funny thing is... I still haven't actually gone to the place that the boat led us to to begin with, I think? Actually, no, you know what? That was this. There was also... this, though. multiple other ones. Matches connects through. Yeah, okay. Oh, hello, boat. I don't know if you can actually get run over by the boat or not. Let's find out. I just saved. No, the boat will actually push you. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's see what this door does. Uh, not the door, the switch. Oh, wanna bet this goes cuts through that thing? Why is this moving without me? There we go. Is 
This this boat is very dodgy. Sometimes it moves. Sometimes you move with it. Sometimes you don't. Or you do for a couple seconds and then you don't. Oh shit! Come on, dude. I still have a bunch of rockets for that left. Mountain Pass. This is probably... Yeah, this is the end of the level. Okay. Wait. I already picked up another med kit. Okay. Well, then I guess I'll do that. Uh... Let's see what we got. There are no secrets in the secret level. <laughs> Okay. Well, then I guess we're done. And... yes, Mountain Pass is actually what's next. Of course, this mirror is where we were at before the secret level, I think. Oh, actually... huh. I wonder... If I go here... No, you're like equidistant between Boggy Creek and this. Okay, I was like, does it conditionalize where it spawns you in based on where you came from? No, it, I don't know that it would be able to be that smart. But that's actually pretty interesting. I'm not sure that... I would have to go back and look. I'm not sure that any of the... Uh, original campaign episodes did that, where you can see both the regular exit entrance and the secret exit entrance. That's kind of neat. Uh, I don't remember if I quick saves. Let's do that. Yeah, that looks like it would kill me. Let's see how far it goes. Pretty far, jeez. Are you guys gonna have a fight? One of them just shot the other guy. I guess they don't fight each other. like freaking Mines of Moria nonsense going on. How is he dead already? Oh, he fell off the edge. I should not be one-shotting them with a single shot from this. Don't like those noises. those noises coming from? Not from down here, apparently. Must be from up there. I guess so. Well, now I'm stuck here. I guess. Did he kill two of them? I know as I see a lot of hearts down there and other drops.
go check out the other side here. Shit. Got stuck. I think you do is another one. Or a bunch of other ones. There's a teleporter and then there's what? Uh that's invisibility. door that doesn't open. I need a key. Oh. Okay. So then this is the way you have to go. see what the switch does. Okay. I can't get in there, though. So there's got to be something else. Oh. No, this is one of those things that doesn't always take you with it. Oh, that's a gargoyle. That's a dead gargoyle. I didn't even directly hit that one, so... I'm, uh, thankful that worked. Hello, that's another one. Oh, and that's one of those drills. before. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay, sure. I'm not exactly 100% sure. I think I feel like that opened when I opened this door. Oh. Is this gonna open that? Yes, it is. Okay. Jeez, and that's a lot of spiders. Remember when 
I saved last time. So let's just do that. I shot over here. He was over there. Okay. Well, I did that to myself. The uh, key indicators in this level are very green. <laughs> we had a green skull. And now we have a green eye. Yeah, I guess that elevator was kind of slow. I feel like there were one or two other elevators in this game that have felt remarkably slow to me. Okay, we've got another teleporter. Not sure why. Oh. Well. This is gonna be bad. So they're giving us a bunch of dynamite. There's gotta be somewhere that I can use that in here. That's a crack. Uh, water level rising? Yes. The interesting thing is the water level's rising but also, I can't swim in it. Like, it's always waist deep or something. Which doesn't make much sense. But, okay, suddenly this place is a lot less dangerous, I suppose. Uh, and we just got the eye key, didn't we? So we can go in here. And then what? <laughs> kinda... Kinda don't feel safe jumping from here, but I guess we're jumping from here. Okay, that works. Uh... Oh, okay. Oh, you were talking about slowest elevator ever. We just found a contender for that. Oh. That works. Hey, look at this tightrope act. Alright, what is this door? Well, this looks sufficiently spooky. Door? <laughs> I fall in there? I guess I should save. I don't think I'm small enough to fall in there. Oh, there's the skull key. Uh, that was not good. I just fell. Oh, I see. Hey, but where was the gargoyle at? Oh. I like how I managed to thread the needle on that. And didn't hit any of them. Wait, there's another one. Oh, come on. Okay. It would have been nice to get in there. I don't know if I can open that again. Like, I don't know if there was anything in that. I can't see what's down there anyway. But we have the skull key now. Where do I actually want to be? Not there.
that's where the eye key was. Or the eye door. Where was the skull door? I have to get back to, like, the beginning of the level, almost. Alright, so... How am I... I'm gonna take damage if I fall down here. Yeah. Where does this put me, though? Might put me somewhere where I will. Oh. Uh. Yeah, okay, I don't know. I think this and that other elevator are tied for slowest elevator. Okay, that's where the skull door is. I need to get back up there. I couldn't tell when he was going to fire the thing, because it was dark in here, so I couldn't tell when he was no longer semi-transparent. I don't trust this. Why are they giving me that ammo for? Okay, we need another key. That's where the key is. That's not even a secret. That's actually where the key is. That's rude. I fucking knew it. Also rude. But also completely expected. Oh. So I should go back and get the ammo for this that I just used. ridiculously fast. I kind of expected there to be two guys back here, too, but no. Okay. Wait, that does this require another key? I need a key. Yeah, it does. Where the hell am I now? You're telling me to make this jump, huh? Okay. Nope. <laughs> you can make one of the jumps. You cannot make both of the jumps. Wait. That thing moves. What is this Rise of the Triad nonsense? Oh, I was impatient. <laughs> you ever just see a huge pillar of land just move? Not what I expected. Also, slowest moving piece of land ever. It actually, it actually comes all the way over. Well, we're gonna be here a while. I was expecting something to ambush me. Oh, 
what? That, that didn't give me anything. What was the point of that? I guess I can go back and see if it changed anything, but I kind of don't expect it to. Because the other thing required a key that I don't have. Save again. Oh, well, um, there's another ele uh, elevator teleporter. I guess it's a three parter. Uh, that's not cool. Uh, that's really not cool. Okay. Is that two of them? Screw that noise. That ain't worth the ammunition. Oh, well. Am I supposed to go down there, I guess? Oh, look at all those spiders that are on fire. Can I just eat them off the edge? Just jump down. Well, I didn't jump. Okay. Wait. Oh. It brings you out there. That's confusing. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm not surprised that there's spiders here, but... I would love to know if you can actually avoid the getting in your way. Wait, it was only one this time. Yeah, what I wanted to do was that. Oh, there's a friggin' med kit there, too. Okay, that's good to know. And now all three of them are open, and I have no idea which one is which. Great. That was the first one, wasn't it? Yeah. And that was this? Yeah, okay. So the second one was that. This is the third one. That's pretty trippy, because you can't really see those stairs looking down at them. They're really hard to see. Hmm. Why are there... 
other three. Hmm, <gasps> they seem to be giving me stuff for some reason. One of that Cerberus? Oh, or just a bunch of small doggos. Okay, so we got the key, and also another med kit. There have been two med kits in this area. What's that noise? Or is that actually part of the song? No, I don't think so. I don't know what that noise is about. Oh, you know what? I bet these stairs collapsed and they re-expanded again. Uh, yep. That's exactly what happened. Okay, we can do the thing now. the other med kit, why not? What's the point of this big box? This is gonna have to be something. Yep, it was something. Well, I guess I won't refill that med kit until later. What the fuck, guys? Seriously. When I shoot you twice, you're supposed to die. That was a little bit better. another place I haven't been. They went really teleporter crazy on this map. I mean, it's still sort of interesting, but it's, it definitely feels like the most haphazard map. Oh, that's the exit. I don't know if there's any way back, so I guess I'm sticking with the way that I have this right now. Oh, is there a way back? See any teleporter going back, so I guess I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. Not even any point saving a end of map. Uh, file is. I can't really get out of there. I got no secrets. That felt a little haphazard, the way they mapped out the end of that. It was kind of interesting, but kind of like... Eh. Felt like not much thought was put into it. Well, this is bad.
all these noises? Oh, well, we got another doctor's bag by accident. I would have liked to have used mine before that, but oh well. I'm gonna save anyway, whatever. I guess I should also save in an actual slot here. Okay, so we've got two maps left. Abysmal Mine is this one. Oops. And he's gonna run right into the water. No, he's not. Okay. Is there anything else down here? Medicine pouch. Have I ever seen that before? It's an instant health item. Huh. Well, okay then. I don't know if that was ever a thing in... I mean, I guess it must have been, because I don't think this add-on adds any new items or anything. Oh, Jesus Christ. Might be one of them too. Sure, at some point we will find out what this noise is. Hmm. Oh, that's where I just went in. Okay, hang on. Oh, there's a key down here. Well, I guess I'm glad I checked that out. Jeez. I mean, to be fair, there were a bunch of barrels there saying, blow me up. That's another medic bag that I don't need. Sure. That's not the key I have. That might actually be danger. Let's find out. Yep, actual danger. It has had a few big kabooms. that I saw from up here? Yeah, it is. Well, there's another door down there. Oh, this is the fire door, though. That's a lot of guys. That works. Where's the other guy that I heard?
<laughs> well, he's very on fire. I guess I have to go in there. There's a key in there. I bet that's... I want to bet I'm about to find out what that sound is. Uh, so which key did I just get? I got the skull key. I need an eye key in here. Yep, that's what we've been hearing the entire time. Is crushers. That is not a door sound. That was dysfunctional. Okay, that's apparently not the medic pouch. That's just a thing sitting there. Can't pick that up. Too bad I only saw the medic pouch. I only saw myself get it, and I didn't see what it looked like. I think we have to go through the crushers now. This conveyor looks like it should be moving, but it's not. Okay, these are all going at the same time. I'm not actually sure if there's a break in them. Hard for me to tell. I'm not sure I'm supposed to go through there. No, I'm not. It's a dead end over there. Can't go through there. Okay. Well. Have I seen the skull door? Oh, I shouldn't have gone down here again. It's the spider cave. Okay. Uh, so now what? Okay, now we climb back up there. Oh yeah, wait, it was down here, wasn't it? Yep. Well. You wanted another earth-shattering kaboom, we got one. There's another key down there. And there's one of, there's possibly multiple of these guys. I don't know that I've ever seen two of these at once before. Uh, are you guys gonna do something, or are you just gonna spin around the whole time?
maybe encourage one of you guys to come down here so I can shoot you? Yeah, there we go. What are you doing? This guy's drunk. This guy is completely drunk. And now they're doing that again. Okay, whatever. I can't open that. Maybe he'll do something again? Okay, he's down. Okay, they're both down. Jeez. It took forever. Uh... Oh, this looks like a door, but it's not functioning like one. There's a switch somewhere. There's gotta be some point to that. Uh, okay, so we just got the spider key. Have we seen the spider door yet? We saw the eye door. I th Wait, yeah, hang on. We saw the spider door. I kind of want to look for a switch down here, that other door. Not seeing any though. I wish he didn't have to listen to that clomping the entire darn time. Also, wait, when did I end up with 200 health? Uh... Spider door should be down here. Yep. I've been aiming for the gargoyle the whole time, and I haven't seen him yet. Well, there's the Ike. There's the gargoyle. And he really slapped me one. So much for having 200 health. That would probably kill me. What does this do? I have no idea what that does. Ever go up here? There's another life seed, so okay, I'll take it. Oh, and that connects to out here. Okay, cool. 
uh, I key was beyond one of the other doors, and now I'm trying to remember which one. This one. Maybe. Yes. I have so much trouble switching to that weapon. Switch somewhere. Oh, that's the exit. Okay. Uh, I guess I can save that. Interesting that our last stage before the boss was a mine. No secrets again. I'm actually surprised that I got no secrets, given that I think I got two life seeds in that level. But, okay. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, we're going very fast. Oh, and now we're not. I don't know how that missed. What the, these barrels are apparently just impervious. Okay. Also, this is using the exact same music as the previous level. I mean, I like it too, but it's a little bit excessive. I think there might be anything at the beginning of this. Oh, you gotta honor the always go backwards when they give you the opportunity to. Uh, I don't remember if I hit this yet. You're saying this is a castle, but kind of looks like, kind of feels like another cemetery to me. There was already a fire on top of him. Can't believe none of those shots hit me. Oh, oh geez. <laughs> Perfectly cut screams. Oh, he's down there now. That is very dark. Are you kidding me? He should have been dead. I'm gonna end up reloading this. That's not at all reasonable. Oh my god. I can't aim. I didn't save that entire way. But honestly, I don't think there's anything worth sticking around here for, so I can just run off through that. Stop 
Zombie is helping. Ah! Oh, that made things more exciting. Wait, what? Okay. There's another room here. How did I... How did this open? But, okay. I'll take it. There's another life seed in there. Not gonna take it right now, but... That will be useful for later. Okay, I'm pretty sure they actually died this time. Like, the last time one of them screamed and then fell in the water, and then I swear that's the one that was alive, unless the other one swam really, really quickly to the other side. I suppose there is that doorway in the water there. But I don't think going down there and fighting the fish is worth it. Oh, he's dead. Is there a noise here? There's something up there, or something. He was just not facing me at all. There's a noise on this side, too. Sure, that will be meaningful eventually. Jesus Christ, these guys hit like a truck. Where are you? I have no armor. go back and get that life seed now. Oh, I said I wasn't going to fall in the water, and then I did. So this level actually seems like it it's going to be sizable as opposed to a lot of the E3 or EXM8s or 9s or however many levels these have had. 8 or 7, I guess, typically. But this looks like it's going to be a full bone level. shots than it should have. Oh, that door doesn't do anything.
why saving freezes the game so often. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm glad I saved. Didn't expect him to sit on fire that quickly. Uh, well, I would say that ended up being a pretty good use of that invisibility. That is a med kit, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I don't even need it, though. Okay, so what's the, what are the noises in here about, anyway? Also, what did I even get by coming in here? Why? I guess that technically takes up space. Yeah, it does. That's why it's automatically ducking under it. But, like, okay, so I hit that switch. I opened that. I'm assuming it also does something else. in my ammo. Alright, that last one was my fault. Huh. This might be what that opened. Oh, hello! guys is in the water. He might not be dead. Losing 50 health because I missed one shot. What is that noise? Oh, I have a key now. Uh, 
also have way less health now. <laughs> God, how many of them fell down here? Son of a bitch must pay. I'm trying to not blow myself up. He is right on top of it. Okay, they're dead. Is there anything actually worth it down here? I can't see what the hell's in there. Made somebody angry. I want to get out of here. Where did okay. Not even sure what was down there, but. So we got the skull key. I forget if I've seen that door. Holy crap! Oh, it's not that apparently. This is also. Oh, wait! That does have a skull icon. The first time I pushed the button on it, it didn't do anything. And I kind of assumed it wasn't interactable. <laughs> Let's do that again. Uh, here's. Yeah, again, it took me two tries. So there's an eye door. Yeah, this is a full-blown stage. We just got jump boots for possibly the first time in this entire episode? Doggo. Doggo! Wow, he gave me all the time in the world to find my damn weapon. Another one of those. That hit him? No. <laughs> I never got as clear of a listen to the death sound for those things. That's hilarious. Ew. has to be hiding something. Why is there a thing on the wall there? That did do something. Okay. Oh, that's the frickin' grandfather clock or whatever doing that sound.
That's all, folks. I don't think I killed them. Why? <laughs> this table is very troublesome for both sides. Are you really dead? Why does it sound like a submarine all of a sudden? Uh, there have been some very interesting sounds tonight. <laughs> Somebody opened a door. He can open it when he's on fire. I was wondering. I forgot if I had hit him already. Another med kit. Interesting. Interesting place for bullets. Of course there's another one. Uh, well, he had a slight problem there. Okay, there's their eye key. Unleash anything. So I came up that way. I had been quick on the draw. Could have uh, 
switch to the napalm gun, taking them all out. Invincibility. There is. I've already been down here. This is the IK. Okay. Oh no, he took the teleporter. <laughs> okay. He's back. He doesn't know whether he's back or not. Fucking hit him. Whatever, there's health here, I don't care. And of course there's another one. Well, I didn't have a problem hitting that one at least. My aim has not been <laughs> I've had a few good points tonight, but for in general it's been pretty bad. Of switches here. Uh, so, do these actually require each of these keys? Yeah, I guess they do. So, I have these two. That means I'm only halfway done with this level? <laughs> Holy crap! This is a big final level. Let's get looking, I guess. Boy, I don't like this door. Well, the good news is one of the keys is right here. Bad news is so are all of the spiders. Can I close that door again? Doesn't look like it. All right, well, whatever. I'm just going to leave them there. I need a key. What? Oh, that's not the key I just got. Oh, he's following me. Okay, fine. I guess I guess they're going to bring the fight to us. Three out of four. And the fourth one might be through here. Um, alright, so we might be more than halfway done with the level. They may have actually... It's interesting that they gave you switches for the first two keys that we found. The last two might come a lot more quickly. Oh, Jesus Christ, no. Three of them at once? Who thought this was reasonable?
Well, fortunately, the circle strafe still works. Unfortunately, I have almost no Tesla ammo left. Well, they gave me ammo for my weakest two weapons. And now we have all the keys, so I guess we're, uh, going with it. We still have plenty of napalm. Oh, whoops. That one. Well, that doesn't look ominous at all. They're giving me free health. Well, I gotta give them credit for trying with this one. They made a really big final level, and then they give you this as the launching point to the final confrontation. Oh shit, what did that... <laughs> what did that do? That, like, launched this thing off. Where does this go? Am I supposed to go that way? Maybe I'm supposed to go this way. Alright, hang on. Before we do that... Did these not do anything? And I can't warp back. Okay, yeah, you're just... You're supposed to do this. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Like, there are a couple of weak points this episode, but for the most part, I think they did a really good job with it. Especially given that it was a third-party developer, like, you wouldn't be sure what to think coming in. But, like, there's been some impressive map work in this. And they're giving us all the ammo. But who are we fighting? Are we fighting Cerberus, or are we fighting the guy who dies really quick? Um, and also, is there any reason to go around here? Yes, there is. I don't think that counted as a secret. But, in case you needed even more health, there it is. And also Tesla ammo, which I appreciate. And also armor. They're giving you absolutely everything. Now, I'm pretty sure there are no new enemies in this campaign, so I'm assuming it's just gonna be either Cerberus or the final boss. <sighs> This looks extraordinarily bad. It's Cerberus. It's multiple Cerberuses. Cerberi? Ow. What's the only thing less reasonable than one Cerberus? Multiple. Okay. Hmm. This looks extraordinarily bad. I, lo I love the, the Akimbo Tesla, that's actually great, but the problem is, one hit and you're dead from these guys. That's always been the Ooh, Cerberus problem. This looks extraordinarily bad. This is total. this totally gives me, like, E1M8 vibes from Doom. Also, I'm out of ammo for that again. That was bad. I got stuck. On the bright side, they launched me over the other side of the ramp, so I wasn't stuck anymore. Also, you want explosions? We're getting all the explosions right now. Mm, this looks extraordinarily bad. I, was, I got stuck in the same exact place again. I wonder if there's any invincibility in here. <laughs> mm, this looks extraordinarily bad. Well, there's TNT. Which is not particularly useful. Ow! There's a lot of ammo for that. There's more ammo for that. That could be helpful. Ow. I wasted that. I wasted that, because where did the other one go? Also, what was that noise? Hey, Pliskin! Thanks for the raid. Whoa! That's a, uh... Oh, okay. I totally misread what my thing said over there. How you doing? For a second, I thought it said 51, and I was like, what the heck? <laughs> but how are you? I am just at the end of the first 
uh, expansion for blood. And, uh... <laughs> Let's see, they threw three of the first boss at us. And then they threw... I think it was just one of the spiders. But we did have two of the spiders at once earlier, I think. And then, uh... And now we have two Cerberus, which Cerberus has been, like, the hardest boss, I feel. Of the original Blood Campaign, because, like, he'll kill you in two shots. So now having two of them... So I'm just dying repeatedly right now. <laughs> But yeah, so, uh, I take it you're familiar with this then. I had not, I had not played this prior to this month, and, like, I remember vaguely hearing about it, and, like, seeing ads for it or something in magazines, I think, in the 90s, maybe? I don't know. I seem to remember something. But I've also never finished any build engine games. I've just been extremely bad at that. So. This looks extraordinarily bad. This isn't where that ammo is. That ammo is over here. Oh, there's the other one. And I have one health. I need to use my med kit. I do have that. Oh, yeah. I've never played the Painkiller series either. I mean, I have at least one or two of the games in it. I just never got very far because... I don't know. It felt like too much of the same over and over. Like, I'm much more for games that have, like, sprawling level design rather than just, oh, it's another arena and I have to kill all the things. And Painkiller is very much the latter. At least in the first one. But, uh... I wish there was... Oh, there's a freaking health seed down there. Okay, that's good to know. Oh crap, I didn't want to do that. That's also not what I wanted to do. You can't akimbo this, but you know what's interesting about this? I'm not losing health. So I swear, every time I tried using this weapon, it used to always siphon health out of me. But now it's not doing that, and I don't know why not. I'm Alana 2, got a console update, and you can't find info on patches. Hmm. This looks extraordinarily bad. That was bad. I always have to, like, go fishing for the key for, uh... For the right weapon. Hmm. This looks extraordinarily bad. Okay, bad idea. Oh, and then I killed myself. Cool! <laughs> Ooh, this looks extraordinarily bad. Can I actually prevent one of them from aggroing on me? Oh. Oops. I guess you eventually walk backwards when you do that. So, uh... Yeah, take that under advisor. What's in the other one? More of this, okay. And I ran into the explosions. Okay. Hmm. This looks extraordinarily bad. He's actually in a favorable position for a moment. Ow. Okay, well I rescind that statement. Where are you? Okay, one of them's down. I'm saving. <laughs> Good grief. That's how you do it, though. You make one of them not even aggro you. Okay, now I'm out of akimbo. That could be a problem. But at least if it's one of them. If I don't do that... You don't exactly have a particularly favorable arena here, either. Oh, and each of them drops a key. Okay. Oops. Those explosions probably get kind of loud. Oops, that was a bad start. That was a bad finish. Alright.
right, hang on. Let's go to... Oh, actually, I have a dumb idea. Let's try this. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, though. Hang on. That doesn't alert him. Okay. I don't know how much this damage will actually stack. Also, I'm not gonna lie, I only just noticed that when you're throwing dynamite, it shows a meter at the bottom center, and I did not see that for the entire playthrough. <laughs> Cerberus is like, oh, you want explosions. Okay. Any, oh, I do have some ammo for this. And there's more in there, which requires crossing his line of sight. Actually, does it? Yeah, it does. Jesus, I need to stop making questionable moves like that. Alright, where are you? Oh my god, you're right there. a decent chunk of healing items in this room. I will give you I will give them that. I did it. Good grief. Uh one thing I will say about this episode is it's actually been pretty decent on health and ammo. Um it did have a rough start. It, the the very beginning felt kinda like episode one of the main campaign. Which was the one place where I really had a rough start in terms of ammunition. Um, actually, the funniest part was I, f I maxed out on shotgun ammo before I ever found the shotgun. Okay, so we did it. We have the keys, which I guess we just waltz over there and use the door now. I don't know if there's still something else left. Let's pick up ammo just in case. There's technically one more... Oh, do I have to blow that up? Oh, okay, it's two wafer-thin doors. No, that's the exit. We did it. There were three more secrets in that big map. The nightmare ends. Complete cryptic passage and any difficulty. Well, we did it. I guess that means I need to stop the timer. Having defeated the powerful Cerberuses, you take a moment to wonder if this strange journey might finally be over. A section of wall opens to reveal the ancient scroll you've been seeking. You retrieve the scroll and return to the boat docks to resume your dark journey. What just happened there? It just... Oh. <laughs> we're, a power, we're a PowerPoint now. Okay, that's what happened. Like, the whole screen just offset. <laughs> and then it did the wipe thing. Okay. Sunstorm. Those are the, those are the developers of this expansion. And they apparently had an add-on for Duke 3D also, which makes sense. Also a build engine game. Both of these are built on the same engine. Uh, Alright, cool. We did it. <laughs> Good grief. That ending was so messy. The, the first time that I faced Cerberus in Episode 3, <laughs> it took me two tries. The first try, I died instantly. I didn't even see what he shot at me. And the second time, he never shot at me. <laughs> So, uh, I had a rough time with the Cerberus in episode 4 of the original campaign also. But there you have it. That was the end of Cryptic Passage. I'm going to skip this because it's very long. Uh, that's the end of Cryptic Passage. What we will end up doing next time is we'll end up going back to... Actually, how do you unload an add-on? You can load an add-on, but I think you might actually have to quit out to go back to the standard game. Because if I go to new game here, it's just Cryptic Passage. Um, 
but well, I guess I can do that just to show it. Give me a minute. It needs to sync files. Okay. Um, we will be doing post-mortem. Branding screens. Very loud branding screens. Okay. Uh, now if we go into here, these four are already done. We did those over the course of the last few weekends. Post-mortem is what we will be doing next. Um, I was originally <clears throat> planning on starting this tonight, but number one, given how long that last map took, which was surprising, and number two, just given how I feel today, this weekend has been a mess for me. Um, I think I'm going to save that for next weekend. So the plan is, we've been, for the most part, averaging a full episode per night. Um, so there will be an attempt to do post-mortem in one sitting on Saturday night next weekend. Uh, and if so, I have one other game, uh, not blood-related, but one other game. Actually, it's a Metroidvania, so that'll give you a hint that I have never played and definitely should play that I am planning to do to close out the month and and to go into November if if need be to finish it because it's definitely going to take me more than one sitting um so yeah I have some plans for something after blood that's still on theme for October so you can probably already guess what it is um but I'm just going to turn on some music, music to outro, I guess. Yeah, that was a fun episode. I think they did a good job with it. I said it before. Um, but, like, I know Dime was in here talking about the... Uh, t he was talking a little bit about the add-ons. He's been pushing me really hard to play Death Wish, which, granted, it looks like it's a really well-made fan add-on, and I do want to play it at some point, but it's not going to happen as part of 2020 Hindsight. I'll have to figure out when I can do it. Um, but we're going to do post-mortem and then move on to other stuff. Uh, 2020 Hindsight is a thing where I've been... Uh, let me go over here and show people what it is. I've been doing a bunch of game playthroughs. A lot of them are FPSs, um, but it's games that I games or franchises that I had never finished playing. Um, I had never finished a single Half-Life game, and we finished all of them, including all the expansions. Uh, that was what started the whole endeavor back in February. Uh, we did Hexen, which I had started but never finished, because everybody gets lost in Hexen. Blood was really interesting from the standpoint of it felt a lot like Hexen, actually, in some places. Uh, we did Turok and Turok 2. We, used, uh, we did the PC ports of those which were also by Night Dive, so was Blood Fresh Supply, which we just finished. We've done quite a few Night Dive things this year. Um, we did Turok and Turok 2. As a peripheral thing, we did Doom 64, the PC release of that that came out this year, which um, the the lead of Night Dive, Sean Villarreal, did the original uh, Doom 64 EX as well. That's I think that's kind of where all this began in terms of him handling, uh, or his company forming and handling PC boards. Uh, we did the... We did Devil May Cry in May, because it's Devil May Cry. Uh, we did the entire Metroid Prime trilogy, which I had only ever finished the first game. Uh, we did Star Fox. I kind of rushed that one, to be honest. Um, we're going to do the Guardian Legend, and we're going to do Tyrion. Those are going to come sometime in November after we're done with blood and the other thing that I have planned that is not on this display uh, for this month. So, that's what 2020 Hindsight has been. It's, uh, I've got, I've got two collections full of stuff for it. I've got the one with the mainline stuff that we've been doing on the weekends, and I've got the Peripheral Vision uh, offshoot collection for stuff that I've done during the weeks, which has, like, Link to the Past, which... I don't think I ever beat when I was a kid. I think I got to Ganon's Tower and then never finished it. Um, I did Heretic as part of that since we did Hexen. 
Uh, Heretic I had finished before, but I had never beaten episodes 4 and 5, which are have really rough starts. Like, if, if you think episode 1 in this has a rough start in terms of ammunition, Heretic episodes 4 and 5 are way worse. Um, but yeah, this has been cool. So I'm definitely glad I spent the time playing Blood. Uh, Pliskin, thanks for sending your folks over. And uh, Stephen Maniac, thanks for chatting as always. And uh, sorry I'm ending early tonight, but I think we're better off if I uh, try to just tackle Postmortem next weekend. And then we will go into a something that I think people will enjoy watching and I will enjoy playing after that, possibly as soon as next Sunday, if I finish Postmortem in one night.